Hello YouTube, Mr. Angus Wangus, back for another vid. Um, I'm, I've got the wheel back to how it should be. Um, too thick. I had eight on there, one thick for the last video, and it didn't work so well. <laughs> um, so then I added two thick f for eight positions, and then took four off, and now I'm at uh, four positions too thick. They're alternating north, south, north, south. Um, but this is how I have it right now. So what I, what I want to show in this video, it's really very cool. We're very, very interesting anyways. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to want to be doing is, this is why I've made the four identical coils. Each one of these coils is exactly, I mean, to, to the gram, uh, one kilogram of copper and they're all the, the same gauge 22 gauge wire so I have two wound in one direction and two wound in the other direction I have these in series on the on the core there right now and I'll explain that here in a minute um, here I'll get it going um, I have the input here uh, amps and volts and um, oh, what's going on here this should be reading yeah I thought so yeah okay <laughs> that's the battery voltage uh, and amps and then I have an AC meter here on the output and I just want to explain how I have it uh, wired up I'm in the process of um, putting the two cores on in alignment and wired up like Cromray had, you know. And this is why I've been excited to um, get two identical sets, right? Because for me to compare in the past, like say the 25 gauge set to the 16 gauge set or wire them in series or it just didn't make sense. I would, even though I would do it, set it all up, it it wouldn't make sense in the sense that I would still be left with questions. Um, but now I have identical ones, so we're gonna find some things out here. So I'm gonna give it a spin, flip the switch on. That's gonna speed up. Um, I don't even really know what I have it set at. That's gonna settle at somewhere in the 20s as this speeds up <clears throat> and we have a voltage showing on the coils so in having four identical coils now I can do some of the tests that I wanted to do in the past and people have suggested <laughs> way in the past uh, my friend ghost toys comes to mind uh, finally there brother <laughs> you had asked a lot a couple months ago about uh, what if they were both wound in the same direction? And I think others probably have asked that too, but you know, and I wanted to know too, but you know, I couldn't Because I had them wound in opposite directions. I would have had to unwind one and wind it back on and Now I have two and two and I can see these things. So crumb race patent what I'm gonna what I read in it is that he has two cores now his cores are straight not arranged like this but essentially the same thing but the way I read his patent is is that he has uh, the two coils on the same core and then below opposite ones but um, the way I read it is that these coils are wound in the same direction and they're wound in series, which is how I have them, right? So, let's start here. Here's the start of this winding, right here, right? And it starts and it winds around, winds around and finishes here. And then I have it wound in series with the start of this coil. And it winds in the same direction as this coil and finishes here, right? And so I have the start and the finish the start and the finish wired up to the switch and it's open right now and it's giving 25 volts AC so this is what I hook up first because that's how I read the patent right and I'm gonna the way it reads is is there's another core you know I have that made 
and the other two spools, but they're wound in the opposite direction. And they have the opposite polarity magnets passing the core, right? So this is what I wanted to try. So I get one hooked up, and I thought, okay, I'm going to see what happens, right? Finally, I'm going to see what happens with them wound in the same direction. Now I have two and two, and here we go. This is what we're going to see. Uh, which is interesting to me because this really shows that lens is um, misunderstood by science or there's more to it than than we learn in um, reading about it textbooks and this really shows that and I, I really wanted to make a video I thought about making a video where I do a clip of this and then a clip of that and then edit them all together and honestly that would take me a long time I wanted to show you guys this now, first of all, one of these coils is 18 ohms, right? That's not a high impedance. That's a, a fairly low resistance for a coil, especially for a full kilogram, right? It's 22 gauge. So I have these same uh, direction wound coils. They're both wound counterclockwise, and they're on the core like this wired in series and the start of this coil and it comes around comes around and the core bends so it goes up underneath it comes around still winding in the same direction around the core the start and then the finish and I have a switch here which is open right now and if the core was straightened out this is exactly how it would be to start here start here wraps around they join together so they would join together here and it just keeps wrapping around same direction and a finish right so they're wound in the same direction sorry if I'm going slow I just want to make sure it's clear what's going on so I'm not measuring output because I just want to show that we get the same effect maybe better I don't know um, from having them wound in the same direction and then we'll go get into implications here first I should show the RPMs and we're at I can't hold it straight uh, okay 570 is the number. There we go. 570. Sorry about that. I couldn't hold it straight. So I'm going to close the switch. Hopefully you can hear it speeding up. Short it out through the switch. Input's going down. And it's speeding up. It was at 570 to start. Speeding up. I think that should go to about 670 is what it's going to end up at. So it speeds up about 100 RPMs, which is, you know, getting the same type of effect as the two opposite windings. Now, again, I wanted to make a video and show it because. Um, the time I get to work on this is going to be here and there, so I didn't want to wait. I wanted to show this. So finally I was able to, sh to test both wound in the same direction and I get the same effect. Now they're wound in series. Um, I'm going to be testing them in parallel. Um, and I'm also going to be hooking up the other core, right, and testing the same thing. Uh, and test them all in series, which I'm hoping, and this is what, I don't think I'm going to get a different type of effect other than in the sense that if I have all four of these wound in series, it'll be double the energy as, say, just these two coils are making, but they'll be flowing over top of the core, right? Double the amount of energy. I'm hoping that maybe it gives a better effect. We'll see. 
see what happens there. <laughs> uh, couldn't be that lucky. But uh, know though that anything over, you know, regular lensing is, is going to make an over Unity device possible in my eyes. Um, and the way Cromway describes it in his patent is that the, when you put a load on, and he describes it as being load dependent, um, but when you put a load on it, that it doesn't slow down um, depreciably. It basically maintains the same speed. But this is shorted. This is the optimal load. But I wanted to show you the same effect with the same winding of direction. Now I'm going to be testing different configurations. I'm going to get both of them on there. But I wanted to show you guys this because it's very, very interesting. And to me, um, what I think I can surmise from this is that lens... Uh, now I'm going to also put one coil on there, you know, and short it out. And I'm going to be testing all different things uh, to compare. But to me, this shows that um, we don't fully understand lens, especially as it relates to using both sides of the magnet. So I think I've shown that the winding direction doesn't matter so much in the sense I'm going to have to do some thinking about this. But definitely there's something special going on here out of the norm of lensing effects as we know it. And also... Um, Different from the, the Thane Hines um, delayed lens uh, effect, which is dependent on a high impedance, which these coils aren't. They're you know relatively low. That's all 18 ohms is not high impedance. Um, so there's an inductive property going on here. So I'm going to end up doing other tests, shorting just single coils. Just put one. I'm going to put one core on there on one side of the magnet and do a lot of comparison testing in getting to the full Cromery setup. I got halfway there and I had to show you. <laughs> very, very interesting. But still working at it and um, still finding out very, very cool things. But uh, there you go. Let me know what you think about that. Um, because this isn't normal, right? For the wheel to speed up right it's definitely not normal it's the same same effect that i've been seeing right but now i've got both coils wound in the same direction and they're wired in series right anyways had to show you right away so i'm going to upload this and uh, i'm going to tinker with it a bit more and i have uh, a few things to do and then um no doubt i'll be back at it tonight um that's when i've been finding i've had time now to to work on this is at night in the evenings and at night the weather here is above freezing now so i have things that i've been doing outside and i can't make it past 10 p.m anymore without falling asleep on i've been trying to watch this video that's four hours long and i can't make it it's i fall asleep every time but anyways um that's what i'm going to be doing and uh more vids to come probably another one this evening but uh, there you go. Take care. Let me know what you think. I'll uh, talk to you later. Bye.